Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Modded Character Showcase. We are going to be trying the Dream Guard once again because this character seems really, really cool and um, last time we played as this character we didn't do super well so I'm hoping this time we can do a bit better. For those of you who didn't see the first episode, basically this character has this little sandbag in which we can turn enemies into like this sort of space dust stuff that fills up our bar um, and as we fill up the bar, as we go to the next level, we can use that to garner upgrades. It's kind of like a, a more complicated version of what Bertrand has um, for that modded character with this sort of meter filling up. But it's reusable, so we can do it multiple times per room. And with our upgrades, we upgrade the stuff that our sandbag can do. And we can make it into more of a weapon than just a tool. Um, <clears throat> it already uh, applies a status effect called Solomon's, I think it is called, onto the enemies when you use the sandbag. Um... So that's kind of what we're doing with it at the moment, is we're applying this and then killing the enemies to garner this little dust stuff. Basically, we need to make sure we kill the boss while it's got this dust stuff on it to make sure we get uh, the most amount that we can possibly get. And hopefully our item room here is something nice. We get ourselves the bell. Okay, nice. Um, ooh, good money there. <clears throat> What's this? And so I was a random monster in the room to a harmless pig. Has a chance proportionally uh, to, to the number of enemies in the room to transform you instead. If you get transformed, then all stats down and the bell breaks until the next room. Kind of interesting. Ooh, okay, so it's just like a unlimited use thing. Okay, might as well make our way through here. <clears throat> I'm not going to destroy the rainbow poop yet, though, because we might want to come back to that. Quickly check out a shop, considering we've got good money here. Um, eh, just start a deck, nothing crazy. So that just gave us all stats down straight away. I think that's because there's so many enemies in the room. And the bell's broken. It's kind of an interesting idea. I don't know how good it is, but... It's kind of interesting. But yeah, we want to kind of play it slow to begin with to get as much of the powder as we can. Uh, Mini Isaacs, yes please. It's not a big all-stats down, though, luckily. Unfortunately, the mini-eyes are actually just going to kill all of these guys before I can uh, sand dust them up. Right, we're about halfway. Let's hope that the boss can uh, can help us out here. Unfortunately, not a great boss, to be honest, for, uh, for doing what we're doing. I got them both. Nice. I mean, that was pretty good. Go, cool, mini-eyes. It's go. Um, my mini eggs I might actually kill him before this runs out. Yeah, they did. Great. Ah, oh, you bastard. I, I didn't realize my mini Isaacs were going to be so goddamn strong. Um, and as you clearly just saw, they killed him before I was able to actually get off my, um, my sandbag for the second time, which is rather unfortunate because we just missed out on a guaranteed next level upgrade and I don't think there's going to be a guaranteed chance of us getting them with the rest of this floor which is annoying because you can only upgrade at the end of the floors. A little frustrating but it's fine, it's fine. We could get ourselves the deck of cards or whatever it was that was in the shop. Why is there always a goddamn arrow with a trinkets plus thing going on? Stuff. We're almost there. All right, let's try and hold off on these guys. Yeah, there was, there was we got close, but unfortunately, we are going to have to wait till the next level to upgrade our bag, which isn't what I was hoping for, but it, 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 it is what it is. Right, let's see if we can get anything good out of uh, out of this, the booster pack. It's not obviously great. Um, teleports to the shop. Eternal Heart, Holy Mantle's very good. Coins. Nice, got a good amount of money back. Emperor. Ooh, em Emperor's really good, actually, because now we can fight another boss and uh, get our power back. Good, good. Yeah, th this time we can actually make sure we get our power for the next level. So this this worked out really, really, really well. Oh, my God. Yeah, don't lose the Eternal Heart. The Holy Mantle doesn't matter so much, but the Eternal Heart would be a travesty. Uh, unfortunately, this guy is a particularly tough boss, uh, like, health-wise, so... It's going to take us quite a while to kill this dude, like, and I mean quite a while. I'm probably going to have to use both my bombs on this guy if given the opportunity. But I do think this is going to take forever otherwise. I guess I could smack him with this um, to potentially do more damage. I don't know if that's actually helping much. There's one bomb. Damn it. I was really hoping that bomb would hit. <laughs> 
Right, at least now we can get him down to low health and then play around with, uh... Play around with trying to hit him with a, the sandbag. I've just got to get it down to, like, super, super low HP. He's kind of a crazy boss, this guy. He's doing the same attacks, like, two attacks over and over and over again. I thought he had a few more up his sleeve, but apparently not. He has the darkness. Luckily, we're doing such low damage that we can get him to pretty low health without killing him. I think we're about we're about ready now, aren't we? There you go, we got him. <clears throat> and there you go. Big old level up. We kept our eternal hearts, but we also got another item, which is very, very nice. We'll grab this and see what it is. Seven is the same again, right? Mini Isaacs, yeah. Okay. Down to the next floor, we already got a power up. I'm I'm pretty happy with how all that went, to be honest. We managed to sort of save ourselves from the first floor there, but we could have got two levels, to be honest. <clears throat> it could have been plausible. Well, let's see what we get for our powers here first. Shoot stars. Um, changes your sand pouch attack to a sand explosion and uh, makes a, gives it a dash. Let's go with a sand explosion. So it's kind of like an AOE explosion that we can uh, that we can pop. It does seem to have a longer recharge though. Well, that didn't hit. I'm surprised. I wonder if it can go through walls. Okay, seems pretty good. Turns all red hearts into rotten hearts. Um, that's kind of useful. A little bit scary, though. Okay, nice. I think this plus a few other things on top of it could be really nice. The explosion seems good. And it seems like we're going to easily get another level this floor as well, which is <clears throat> really nice. I want to showcase as much of this character as I possibly can. Oh, do you, do you know what? I keep forgetting that I've got to get out the bag and then press to fire it. That's very good. I keep missing. And I say at the minute it's not got a lot of range, so we need something that's going to up its range a bit. Yeah, I was, as I was saying in the first episode, I love these uh, characters that have these sort of inbuilt mini games. Lovely, you just respawned, my guy. How dare you? Don't be doing that. Okay, nice. I'm taking a lot of damage right now, but it's, I'm risking everything to try and get as much power as I can. I like the fact that it stuns enemies, like stops them in their tracks. It's really nice. This guy's the bomb guy, right? No, he's not. Okay, one of those stopped, the other did not. And you just started firing on me straight away. Can you not get respawned, please? Okay, we did just get, just get a level up there. Very worried about my current HP, I'll be honest. I think I do more damage to enemies that are hit with Solomon, so I don't actually know. I do not like this at all. But yeah, the explosion definitely isn't doing a lot right now in terms of damage. We really need something to beef it up a little bit. Because <clears throat> right now it's it's lacking a little bit, but... It's, it's useful at least. It's, it's good. Really, I didn't hit you? Okay. Take out your little babies first. Honestly, this, this enemy can be so annoying. But we got it. <clears throat> hey, I was really hoping we'd get some red hearts here. We were lacking a little bit and I was getting a tiny bit worried. But we're all good. Right. Back down we go. I've just had a lovely burger for my, for my lunch. It's very, very nice. Oh, just recovering from it now. The range on the explosion seems really bad. <laughs> it seems worse than the sandbag beforehand. Oh, what the hell? <clears throat> oh my god, the respawning curse is really... Look at that, like, like, how did that not hit him? Hypno ring's pretty good. Yeah, that definitely felt feels like it should have hit him. Yeah, it definitely seems we do more damage the, to the enemies once we've um, hit them with that. Ooh, honestly. Sand pouch plus, um, plus that, plus hypno ring's pretty good. 
Set enemies to sleep. Sand pouch him. Yeah, that's, that's a really nice combo we've got going on there. I like that a lot. I think that's very useful for us. Good. Even though I've already got a level up here, I, I still want to get as much as I can get going with this. Okay, and you two are chilling over there. Yeah, Hypno Ring's a really, really good item. Not to put enemies to sleep on occasion. It's very useful. I believe it scales with luck as well, so it's all good. Okay, yeah, the range is just abysmal. We definitely need something that's going to increase the range on this thing, because it's really just not good right now. Like, you'd think I'd hit a lot of those flies there, and I just don't. Oh god, I'm taking super, super loads of damage right now. Way too much. And then enemies are respawning as well. You need to stop. Okay, it's boss time. Hypno Ring should be really good against this guy. Yeah, enemies definitely take a lot more damage while they're Solomons. Get out of here, you. Smooth Stone's very nice. To the next floor. And we'll see what upgrade we get this time. I'm really hoping it's something that can increase our range. Um, enemies will take... Uh, with Solomon's take damage over time. That's kind of good. Um, increase Solomon's duration by two times. Increase damage dealt to enemies with Solomon's. Ooh, all of these are very good. I'm going to go with the extra uh, time on it. I think that's going to help a lot. I think that's going to help a lot and a lot. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to make a lot, a lot of stuff work with this. The extra, um, like, di like, the extra time just means that we can focus more on, like, killing them, killing other enemies. I mean, look how much power we've gained this floor already. We're going to be able to do a lot with this. We don't need to get every enemy, just remember that. Like, especially with our sand pouch recharge being much longer right now. Dude... Wasn't paying attention at all there. Did this guy die? God damn. Okay, let's try and not die ourselves, because we are only one hit away from a grisly death. But luckily, this could this could heal us up. Yeah, boy. Definitely need some more damage. Oh, dude. For some reason I was not expecting that. Shot speed, not exactly what we're hoping for, but there you go, thank you. What am, I, what am I looking for for my next ability? I think more damage to enemies that are hit by Solomons would be nice. Beautiful, we're up to halfway. Probably killing the boss should give us it at this point anyways. Yeah, lovely stuff. Come on. We need to find the shops. We can probably buy some healing. I think that would be our best next course right now. Easy. Okay, that guy was sleeping underground. And then I've, I've made the boil sleep. I don't know how that works. We also deal double damage to enemies that are sleeping as well on the first hit to them. So we've got another source of extra damage there as well. We've got a lot of sources of being able to deal some extra damage, I think. Killed the burner boy straight away. These cursed eye geezers might be a little harder. Okay, actually, there you go. We got him to sleep. Oh, that's perfect, that is. That's so good. Check this out. We most certainly do want that. And we most certainly do want that, thank you. Plus, is in a way better standing for our HP, because it's, it's not been the best. It's not been the best. You're able to wreck enemies that we hit with Solomon's, it's ace. You got you sleeping as well. There you go, basically just 
completely removes an enemy from the fight when we put them to sleep. It's really nice. But yeah, we're definitely going to get another level up um, come the boss, I, I'm pretty sure. Mm, okay, I wasn't really expecting that. I don't know why, but I wasn't. Okay, how am I best going to hit all these? Nope, that hit one of them. How did that only hit one? Is it only the ones with their heads up that it works against? Yeah, how is that only hitting the one of them? This is bullshit, this. Do not like this as a rune. This is gross. It's very hard to hit them. They gave me, like, nothing anyways. It's kind of worthless. Oh, you're so slurred, boys. You can't do anything. How is that not hitting? My god, I'm like next to them. This explosion thing was a bad idea. It's not good. It needs more range. Cool. Right, we've got Yukak. A lot of Rotten Heart based things right now. Um, I guess I'm just going to bomb this. See what we get. Toxic Shock. I don't know actually how that worked then. Did you see that like when I paused, it didn't do the, the double item. I was going to pause to see what other item I got. Honestly, Toxic Shock might not be great. <laughs> it's going to kill a lot of small enemies for me. I've not really been using my bell either, by the way. I kind of realized that. Put you to sleep. Dude, get your balls off me. Putting the balls to sleep is uh, is rather lovely. Did that not hit him? I don't think that hit him, you know. How? Bizarre this is. I think I've got to be below him. Okay, we're pretty close. Let's... Uh, Stave off for a little bit. Oh my god. Really being a bitch at the moment, aren't you? With all these balls. God damn it. That didn't hit him. What? I think I've got to be below the enemy. I think I'm above or to the side. It literally doesn't work. We got our level up though. Weird, man. Matchbook is fine. Cool. Then we go. Okay. Last power until we have to start actually buying more slots. Shoot stars. Take a, a damage over time. Increase damage to enemies with Solomons. Yeah, we'll take that. Unfortunately, our recharge time on our sand pouch is actually now pretty long. Does make, make things a little harder. I'm trying to be optimistic. Okay, not too bad. Crab, we don't want to deal with you. Put you to sleep and then die. Unfortunately, we didn't get any more damage ups or anything like that going, so we're still not in a great spot there. Put you to sleep. Put you to sleep. Okay, I put all of them to sleep now. Okay, we, we, we put all of them into their uh, reform phase. We get all of them here. There you go. Yeah, it seems that if the enemies are above me, my range is okay. But if they're to, to the side or below me, it really doesn't like it. It's got forward range, but not really, like, AoE sideways range. Which is weird, but I guess. I guess it's fine. Slightly annoying enemies here. Cool. Yeah, that enemy was below me, and it worked pretty well for that guy. It, 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 it just seems inconsistent, is all. It's just kind of hard to predict exactly where I need to be to make this work. Whoa, what the... Dude, 
Dude. Chill. There's too much stuff to be firing. Far too much stuff to be firing. Nice. I do love it when we go through rooms and do that, though. Solomon's is kicking ass in that regard. It does mean we're spending a lot longer on rooms, though, overall, doesn't it? Come on, crab. Everyone knows this is bullshit. Oh, oh it's because he was... He was asleep underground. Okay. I don't know, he could be asleep underground, but apparently he was. Oh, god damn. Yeah, that damage bonus is pretty wild. It must be at least 50% damage bonus. Can you chill out? There you go. Extra nickel as well. Probably want the nickel. Uh, do we want to reroll Halo Flies? I feel like Halo Flies is good, but there's just so much better I could get. Shoot head. Fire um, occasionally shoots a decaying tier that applies decay stats effects. Will slowly deal assault percentage with the max HP. Caps at 25%. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I will take Tumor Head. That sounds pretty good to me. I like the idea of enemies slowly decaying, especially considering it said that it works on bosses as well. I like that. It's very good. I don't know how often I'll fire them, but it seems reasonably often so far. Calm down with the bubbles, please. Calm down with the bubbles. Okay, I don't know if we're going to get a full level here again. Um, I think we will because the boss should give us quite a lot. Oh god, I don't think there's any way I can hit these guys without getting hit. Yeah, <laughs> I tried. I don't really care about my devil deal at this point because I just don't have the HP to be taking a devil deal, so why bother? I would like some more HP though, game. If you could bless me with such a thing. Yeah, look, I hit that guy with decay and he just dies over time. That's really nice. That seems quite strong. We do want to make sure we don't die. That is, is a current slight, slight predicament that we're in. I'd rather not die if that could be helped. Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were doing that. Right, let's take out the boss. Oh my god, let's not die to the boss. Okay, we, we definitely could die to the boss here if I'm not careful, so let's really be careful now. I didn't realize he was going to fire this many times. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't get my bonus from him, because I had to make sure he died. We did get some damage up, which is nice, although still not very much. I mean, there is still a chance we could get a level up off of the stage, which might take a little while. Really, you're going to kill that enemy that I was saving? Little mini mush. Good, good. Will we still get a level up off of this stage? Probably not. I feel like probably not, but I've got to I've got to try it. I mean, actually, I could technically try and play Boss Rush Room. Okay, this isn't good. <laughs> not much I could do there. I, I might go see if I can play the Boss Rush Room, because then I can kill some bosses, right? I mean, it's risky, because I could die. But if I can kill some bosses, I can get some more star power. Some more dust. And work with that. I think it's reasonably valid. Okay. You're dead. I can take out the little guys. And your bubbles as well. We're nearly there. Nearly there. No health around the... At least it's something I shot. Okay, I don't think the frogs are going to be the best of enemies to try and work with like this. This looks secret roomy to me. I should check that out. Beautiful. Is this Yera? Yera. 
Yara. That's a lot of extra bombs, baby. Rather nice. Okay. Boss time. We need to take some damage before we can do that, though. Where's some easy ways to take damage? There you go. <laughs> right, then we can check what's going on in here and see what item there is. Hopefully it's a HP up. It is indeed a HP up. Lovely, there you go, we got our level up. It all worked out for us, baby. Get careful of all these bombs. He's a bit of a dick. Oh, we've, we've, we've slept him. He's underground sleeping. Oh my god, look at the amount of extra damage we do with this on. It's nuts. Yeah, it's got a good amount of power there. Okay, so we now we're good to go to the next floor. And we won't be able to grab an upgrade unless we want to swap for an upgrade we already have. Although, saying that, I might I might get rid of the explosion one. Because the explosion one just isn't very good. I, I'm not really liking it. Um, so I might swap it for something else. Because I think it, something else could work better with the Solomon's powers we've already got. With the extra duration and the extra damage. I think if we get something different, it could work out a lot better for us. So I'm going to sort of see what we can uh, see what we can grab. Or I could, like I said, add a notch on so that we can add an additional power later. We'll see what, what's available to us. So... Enemies with Solomon's will take damage over time. Sand Pouch attack spawns deadly spikes. Um, apply Solomon's to enemies that are already affected. Applying Solomon's to enemies that are already affected by it will give them over Somnia stack. Each stack increases damage dealt to the enemy. And the sand immunity speed after the effect fires is makes Solomon's much longer. Slightly decreases the recharge. Hmm. That sounds kind of interesting. I think we're going to go with that over this. So no more explosion. Yeah, no more explosion. But now we can multi-apply to bosses. I mean, any enemy, really. We can multi-apply. Um, but it's going to last a hell of a lot longer and stuff. It's, it, it seems really good, this setup. And now we've not got the explosion. There goes our devil deal once again. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Ugh. Yeah, I like this idea. Is it going to be much easier to hit, hit enemies? Okay, don't, don't. Just walk into that guy. That's just silly. That's just silly. Doing this extra damage. Ooh. I, I am happy with the rainbow poop right now. I'll tell you that for sure. Probably should have gone into my care room first, though. Oh, well. It's fine. We're making our way. I think, yeah, I think we've got a pretty good thing going on right now with, uh, with our build. Okay, I'm not going to place another copper bomb there, because it's just going to be a waste, isn't it? Yeah, Solomon's lasts way longer. And with the extra damage we deal while they're Solomon's, it's really good that it lasts an extra amount of time. It's a lot easier to build up our power. Decay is going to kill that guy before I can get to him. Oh no, maybe not. Just about got to him there. Yeah, and our recharge is faster now without the explosion by the looks of it. This is quite a beautiful setup we've got going on here. That was so stupid of me. <laughs> Walked right into that. Thought I could get it before the um, before the turret started firing, but I could not. Take out a few of these guys. Quickly go back and grab that half heart, because honestly, why didn't I before? Okay, there's our boss. We've still not seen our item room yet, though. Let's make our way back. I do wonder, like, with Isaac, obviously the movement with Isaac is just the arrow keys, but, like, how long does it take to get good at movement in Isaac? Like, that room there that I've just, like, maneuvered through without hitting any of the fires. Is that something that, that is just, like, super easy to do? Or is that something that actually comes with, like, practice and playing... Um, Isaac a lot. Big John? Uh, exa what exactly is Big John doing? Why is he just stuck on the bottom bit now? This is a super fun room, by the way. I'm really enjoying myself. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 
Why does that exist? People are evil. Don't really care too much for that. Yeah, the extra range we got on Solomon's now is so much better as well, without the explosion. The, the range on the explosion was really bad. <laughs> Even though it was AoE, it was still horrible. Okay, are we good? No, there's one more guy over here. Okay. We are good. Don't really care about the extra key, we got 12. And then... Item room could be something beautiful. We don't know what it is. We gotta just take it and hope for the best. Bag of bobbies. Bag of bobbies is fine by me. Right. Let's go do our boss. Unfortunately, it is very far away. We do have to make quite the trek to get back over there. Oh, it's okay though. I've not been using my active at all. I don't really know why, but... I don't know. The, the whole idea of turning us into pigs just doesn't appeal to me that much. Could be an interesting item, but it's not for me. Alright, remember to Solomon's this guy. Remember we can Solomon's them multiple times as well. Damn. Shit on. That didn't give us enough. Oh, that's a real shame, that is. Okay, um... Stem cells. Okay. Is there any which way we can gain some more star power here? Because we are, like, literally the tiniest little bit off. I'm trying to think of what ways we could do it. Is there any way... Okay, so I guess we could blow up some skulls to spawn hosts, maybe? Of course it's not going to spawn hosts when I actually want them. Right. Curse room first, I guess. That wasn't enough. Damn it. My mini Isaac's going to ruin this. How is that not doing enough to give me any power? This is sad. I'm so close. Come on. Uh, I mean, now I've got this at least, I can do this. Takes you a special room um, where you must choose one out of... Uh, Give up an item. I don't really want to give up any items right now, I'll be honest. Good, good. This has to work. This has to work. Look for all the skulls we can find. What? Where are all the goddamn hearse when you need them, man? How is this not enough? This is so frustrating. I feel like we've got to be so close. Come on! There's got to be some more somewhere. Yes! <laughs> I did it. <laughs> it was all worth it. It was all worth it in the end. Okay. Away we go. That's the sort of min-maxing I like. I feel good about that. Right. Away we go. Now I think we just grab an extra uh, slot. We'll see what our options are first, though. Killing and damaging enemy Solomons will give you a small burst of charge of your pa uh, pouch. Okay. Changes your sand pouch to a range attack. Kind of interesting. We'll leave a trail sound. Okay, I think we just go for this. There you go. Crawl space, lovely. An app 
absolutely god awful item. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Oh, this guy's a rainbow champion. Does he die? Okay, he, he does eventually die, yes. It just takes some time. Red rune. Red rune, all that shit. Okay. Bit of a weird one there. There's a thingy over here. Don't just destroy that. Ah, it was only a Yara. Right, hold up. Try and get as much as we can out of this, although the, the tar is killing stuff right now. Good. We don't need to, like I said, get everything every room. Get as much as we can, then we can dip. We'll come back for that if we need it right now. We don't. I wonder if there's, like, any big AoE Solomon's things. There must be some, like, rare upgrades that you can get on occasion. Okay, it's mainly going to be the bosses, though, I think. Don't think we're going to get another power up this floor, to be honest. It doesn't seem super likely. Unless we really spend a ton of time. Because as you can see, our bar... I, th I don't know if it does, but it seems like our bar is going up slower now. Okay, that didn't actually hit him, so I definitely don't want to waste this. Let's hit both of those at once, lovely. Again, you, you I can just kill. Can't be asked wearing around for you. Not too bad. None of those sort of enemies I can get. Unfortunately, this is another pretty bad room for us here, because we kind of have to wait. Oh god, that guy's got some high speed right there. I'm sure battery charge doesn't do much for us. Yeah, I'm just going to end most of this room. We did what we could. In here, we got Pisces, which is pretty good. I think I'll take Pisces, yeah. Gather all these. I want to try and obviously hit as many as we can, but it's not always that easy. Here, we've not got much of any good. Okay, wait for them. Oh, the Decay is going to kill them, yep. The Decay is great, but it is, it is kind of killing things we don't want to kill. Depths 2. Don't want to go down the depths quite yet. Oh, Frog Puppet, no thanks. Uh, I don't know how much Mum is going to give us in terms of po power, so I don't know how much I sort of need to be garnering before the end of this floor. I'd like to get to at least halfway, but it's not looking super likely that'll happen. I'm trying my best, but... It's unfortunate that the enemies that, like, spawned from an enemy don't also have Solomons on them. You have to, like, redo redo that to get Solomons on those guys. Good. Oh, we're getting close to halfway. Yeah, I think we've just about made it to halfway. Nice. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but I'm happy it happened. Lovely. Okay, I think we've got a chance of getting a level up on the uh, end of the stage now. I think there's a chance. Don't know where secret room is. There you go. Yes, I do. Fortunately, not a great one there. Quickly check the second secret room at the end of here, maybe. No, no, no. Tinted rock there, though. Didn't see that before. And a book I don't care for. Right. It is boss time. Just remember to use the pouch. Remember to use the pouch. It'll get us a lot more damage and use it multiple times on the boss as well. Alright, it's a red mum, unfortunately, which just makes things more awkward. Okay, I think she's sleeping, yeah.
Do you, can, you, can you fucking chill out, mother? There you go. God damn. Wait, I didn't get any star power for her. Why? What, what, what is the reasoning behind this? Why do I get nothing for you? I definitely hit her. That's frustrating. Apparently none for mum. Okay, these little blood vessels need to get out of here. Okay, so now we've got to just kind of make it there on our own. Oh, these blood vessels in this room are annoying as hell. Just hope for the best that we can get our uh, full charge this floor. And hope that the boss works this time. I genuinely don't know why it didn't work. Ooh, okay. This guy, when he splits up into his ball form, he doesn't... He's not Solomon's anymore. But does that mean infinite farming? If decay hadn't happened there, I think it... Yes, it did. What's this guy doing? Ow. God damn it. Can never not get hit. <laughs> It's just a guarantee for me. Okay, two bosses, good. That's an insta-kill on that boss, wow. That gave us, like, nothing, though. Like I said, it must be just be a lot harder as you level up. Maybe, maybe Mother did give us some, she just gave us, like, fucking mount compared to these. It might just be that. Cool. Okay, I think we are, we are going to get a level up here, actually, by the looks of it, especially if we min-max some rooms and don't go straight for the boss. Okay, just just get hit twice back to back there. Good for me. Oh my god. That was a lot of boys. I mean, Toxic Shock basically did all the work there, but that was pretty funny. Extra damage is insane. Get a level up here. Yes, we do. Lovely. We do get some HP as well. Okay. Now we get an extra power on board. I'm not actually sure what I'd want, to be honest. Um, makes into a dash. Take damage over time. Into a ranged attack. Let's try the ranged attack. Interesting. Might be a little easier to utilize with it being a ranged attack. It just depends what the range is. Oh, dude, there's a spike rock behind me. And some of these enemies are just gross. This is a horrible, horrible room. Like, is there any way to live through this bullshit? Is there any way to live through this bullshit? This is insane. These little dudes gotta go, man. They're so broken. Like, the knockback on them just makes them fucking insane. Wow. Please don't. Whip me. Oh my god. I'm one off death. And you didn't even give me a red heart out of that thing. Okay. This might not go so hot, people. This might not go so hot. That first room just ruined me. Great, this is definitely going to make things easy, isn't it? Does that kill you guys? No. Very worried. Always. And forever. Please, HP. God damn it. It's not going to make it easy, is it? I think I'm probably going to die this floor. Can you stop it with these little cheeky babies, man? There's just fucking thousands of them at the moment, and it's getting a bit ridiculous. Dude, there's so many of them. Chill out. You got another one coming. Oh. Bugger off. How did that bomb not hit you? Okay, I think it hit you, actually. Good. Oh, god damn. Uh, I don't know what I died to there. I think I accidentally destroyed a rock. 
Either way, another good look at the character. The d definitely kind of a tough character with the st stats you start with. As I said before, I definitely would like to see a lot more powers available. I do think it's a very limited selection. But it's a very fun character nonetheless. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.